quick update to what we are doing here with the SCE experiment. You can see here that um, we're up about 800 bucks from last week. A uh, thousand of that is from DeFi Kingdoms, more so than that. So, I mean, we lost money with um, Clima Dow going through here. We lost a little bit of Clima Dow, even though we have increased the amount of Clima Dow that we have. We have lost or remained the same with Snowbank. And something there about their migration is paused. We're not even getting rebases there. I need. I, I think I said last week I need to do some research. Hand checked into is ten bucks. It was initially how much? About sixty dollars. So I'm gonna do some looking into it. Here, uh, Time Wonderland has dropped a little bit. Umi Finance. Also, you know, so the DAOs are D DeFi 2.0 has not been doing that well. Our DAOs have been dropping in price, but we're still working, still rebasing. And if you saw my videos about my predictions, not predictions, my strategies for the next year, you'll see that it doesn't matter. I'm still going to hold strong. And when I can take profits, I will. But I'm going to stay the course. I believe these projects will still last the test of time, at least for a year or so. Not all of them, though. And then those that will cut our losses and move on. Starting to look like that for Spartacus. I have to do some more and see what's going on with Spartacus. You know, part of this is that I took out some of the money to go into Spartacadabra, and that didn't work out well. We were liquidated in the market tank, so... Uh, kind of holding steady here with the state sheep. Myar is doing okay, it's doing fine. The, the market is going down. The money we're making by staking on in the liquidity pools, yeah, staking in the liquidity pools in the Myar exchange has been making us money. It's been doing fairly well. The real winners are coming up though. Geist has been holding pretty strong compared to the rest of the market. And you can see here that the Reaper farm has been doing really well. I need to do, I'm going to do strategy videos about the Reaper farm as well. But I think we're going to take profit soon on our uh, tomb share in the Phantom farm. And we'll talk about what we'll do with our profits. Just the long and short of it now is that I'll turn it into UST. Um, UST. Send that UST to the Terra Luna network and then i'll put that into the anchor program and, and um, so it's a stable coin terra uh, ust is a stable coin and in the anchor protocol on terra you get about 19 percent on your stable coin so 19 percent on your dollars so that's what i'll do with the dollar quote unquote protect the money um still keeping it in crypto so that if i want to remove it from anchor and there's no you know fees i, I got to do some more I don't believe it is. I remove it from there and to go buy something or whatever it may need to be done with that money. Now you can see DeFi Kingdoms here. We are up three thousand dollars on our investment. The prudent thing right now would be to take profits and put it to the fellas. They are still, you know, deciding. But I think by the time we get to eight thousand dollars, if this keeps going, I am going to take profits and put it into Terra. UST and Terra, and then we'll be getting 20% on our stable coins to decide if we want to do something else with that money. Um, show you a little bit how that all looks. Here's our DeFi Kingdoms. Now it was at eight. Let's see where it's at. It was at 19 something earlier. Oh, 1910. Wow. <laughs> it just continues to go up and up and up and up. But now you can see, look. So Zapper, the season has ended for this, and I thought I had sent these over. Maybe I didn't. I'll double check. Um, and you can see here, it now has DeFi Kingdoms as part of what it is tracking here. And it shows you the pools and what you can claim. So that's pretty cool. 
Wow. So let's change that now to 5,125. All right. So, yeah, we're going to take profits definitely at some point in the near future, just because, you know, we've more than doubled the money we put in two weeks ago. And the prudent thing to do would be that, you know, the prudent thing to do would be that. But let us, Harmony was acting a little bit wonky earlier. Switch over to Harmony, all right? Go to DeFi Kingdoms. We're gonna harvest our jewel. I believe we have enough here to harvest. We did not, for my R app, have enough to reinvest. But jewel here, I guess maybe there's so many people going into it. It's just the, the it's just. I may have to switch this one over to the um, POK POKT net because it seems like the main that is just on garbage. All right, I'm not gonna hold y'all for this. Um, anything else important for you to know? Not necessarily. I mean, look, you know, it makes sense if I just threw all my money in this, right? What if? But who knows? You gotta, you know, you hedge your bets, and when you see something that's working, then you know, you lean into it. Yeah, the main net seems to be acting a little wonky. I'm gonna go and get the information for that, um, that other, that, um, that, uh, I don't know, is it a pocket, pocket one? And change over to that to that and see if that helps, because. Come on, this is ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Not even okay. I was gonna say not even getting the um. It's showing me that it's trying to. I bet you. We can't even see what's in the bank. Yeah, so I don't know if it's just so many people are now on. It's up to nineteen dollars according to that. But I want to reinvest, so. I think we'll figure out this. All right, I'm not going to keep you. Um, a lot of information came out. I'm not going to you know, go through that in depth right here. I'll just say really briefly, kind of what we said, having Jewel in the bank, X Jewel, having liquidity, having Jewel on the chain, in this case, Avalanche, all sets you up to potentially receive airdrop from Crystal, and that's awesome. We love it. With that, I love you. You love you. God loves us, and that's all that matters.